This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction Martha Rogers used her science of unitary human beings nursing theory to promote the quality of healthcare delivered to different patients. According to this theory, nurses should view human beings as crucial parts or elements of the universe. That being the case, the nursing practice should focus on the best healthcare services and support. The theory further explains why human environment interaction is critical to better healthcare and service delivery. This theory is useful because it provides the best framework for nursing practice. Rogers explains why nurses should consider the practice as a science and art. The theorist explains how the attachment between human beings and the environment forms what Martha calls a unitary concept. Applying the theory to my nursing practice According to McEwen and Willis, human beings and the environment are indivisible and possess irreducible energy fields. Such fields can only be identified using clear patterns of the whole. This is what forms the unitary human field. That being the case, human health is the outward expression of life and its wider process. According to this theory, illness and health are parts of the human continuum. Nursing is an artistic practice whereby every caregiver promotes the health of a patient, or any other individual, through art and creativity. The facets of the science of unitary human beings theory present some of the best ideas for better healthcare. To begin with, nursing should be an independent practice whereby caregivers use scientific inquiry and an evidence-based approach. I believe that the theory can be essential for the best nursing practice. The first thing is to consider every situation because it is critical to better healthcare. The theory teaches people about the importance of treating human beings as critical aspects of the environment. Human beings cannot live in complete isolation. Nurses should use Martha's theory to widen their beliefs and knowledge. Martha's theory explains why nursing is something more than treating a disease. Caregivers can embrace the practice to promote a person's health status. According to the theory, professionals and nurses should always embrace the art and science of nursing. As a nurse, I will always use this theory to examine the situations and problems affecting my patients. The approach will make their lives much better. The theory has always played a significant role in changing my nursing and personal beliefs. Nurses should also embrace the importance of scientific inquiries and evidence-based practices. This will ensure every stakeholder, educationist, nurse, and caregiver becomes part of the wider nursing practice. The facts of this theory will make my nursing practice effective and successful. How the theory dictates my leadership and organizational style. I have always promoted the best interaction between my patients and other stakeholders. The theory explains how the healing process should consider every implication of disease development to avoid the impacts of the environment. I will use the approach to understand the possible cause of every disease and offer the best countermeasures. This is the best path towards professional practice. The theory explains how caregivers can use the idea to rearrange the energy fields of their patients. Martha's theory presents the best practices for professional nursing such as the use of scientific inquiry and evidence-based practice. The other important thing is how to make the workplace enjoyable and productive. It is also appropriate for every nurse to work in a good environment. This theory explains why I have always been ready to associate and interact with other nurses. Evidence-based practices explain the importance of proper communication and leadership styles in every healthcare organization. The ideas and concepts of this theory have always influenced my communication style. For instance, I have always communicated effectively with my fellow nurses. The practice has made my nursing practice successful. Nurses should be part of their environment to provide the best healthcare to their patients. The theory explains why inter- and interdisciplinary leadership strategies are critical in every healthcare facility. 
The concepts of management and collaboration also form a critical feature of my nursing philosophy. I must collaborate at the workplace. Collaboration makes it easier to identify the strengths and weaknesses of the workplace. Conclusion As a nurse, I have always used this theory to gain new ideas and evidence-based concepts at my workplace. For instance, I always encourage my workmates to form the best teams and embrace the best decision-making processes. The approach explains why it has been possible to provide quality healthcare to targeted patients. I have also mentored and encouraged my patients to live a better life and embrace the best health practices. I must interact with every patient and stakeholder at my workplace. I will always use these ideas and theories to make my nursing practice successful. I will use this theory to provide the best nursing services to all my patients. Every caregiver should consider the importance of this theory because it presents the best ideas for better nursing practice. This essay on science of unitary human beings by Martha Rogers was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one, on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for, free of charge.